Hi guys, welcome to another lesson on how to play checkers. In this video I will tell you what does it mean to freeze your opponent out and how to use it to win many, many games. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe the Checkers TV YouTube channel so you don't miss any valuable tips, like in this lesson. The game of checkers is not only about maneuvering your own pieces, but also constantly checking your opponent's possibilities. Sometimes, along with a good timing, you can deprive him all of his good options. And that's what freezing your opponent out is all about. Let's take a look at the first example where white pieces are on the move, but before we play we have to check all our opponent's possibilities. On the next move dark pieces can play 17 to 22 or 21 to 26. You may not be afraid of the first one because then you will have the capture, but 21 26 can be a little problematic with the threat of capturing our own piece. Is there an option to freeze all those possibilities out? Of course there is. The right move to play is 31 to 26, avoiding this possibility of covering this corner by dark pieces. Now only move for the opponent to play is to go 17 to 22, which causes the loss of two pieces. And thanks to that you are winning the game. Another simple position. Of course dark pieces will not be able to play 17 to 22 because it gives away all the pieces of our opponent, but he has the chance to go to 27. What to play? 38-32. Now white pieces control 27 square and no matter which move dark pieces will choose, they will lose all the pieces. In this position, white pieces have two different possibilities of winning this endgame. Looking at the dark pieces position, this structure of four pieces that looks like something like diamond is not a strong one, because to build a strong formation, that is an additional tip, you need to have three pieces in a row. In this position it's really easy to freeze your opponent out. What you can make by playing 32-27, no option possible, or the same effect after 32-28. Each dark pieces move ends with losing pieces. How to freeze your opponent out in this position? His idea to play may be to use an exchange with playing this move, 17 to 22. After white pieces take, dark pieces take, and it looks like a draw. To avoid this exchange, you can simply go 27 to 21. Of course, playing with 12 is a not good idea, but after 17 22, the things are not getting better. You sacrifice one piece and you have three different possibilities of collecting two pieces. And I guess all those captures are winning ones. Let's check our opponent's possibilities in this position. This is not possible, as well this is not, and this is not possible. So the only move to play for dark pieces is 19 to 24. Can you freeze it out? Of course you can, by playing 35 to 30. White pieces win the game. Do you remember what I've told you before in this video about strong formations? I've told you that you need at least three pieces standing one after another in one row to have a strong formation? Well, not in this position, because of this one standing on 22. It hangs sticked to this formation, making it not working. Dark pieces will not be able to sacrifice 1, 27 to 31, after which they could take 2, because after this move, white pieces will collect 2 pieces, together with this hanging one. So the only possibility for dark pieces to make this formation working is to play 22 to 28. 
but white pieces are on the move. And we play 39-33, avoiding this possibility. As you can simply see, there is no good move for dark pieces. A small variation about previously seen position. Now dark pieces have the strong formation of those four pieces, but white pieces can sacrifice one and make this 13 hanging on 22. After that, it's enough to play to 33, and despite one piece less, white pieces win the game. How to freeze your opponent out of possibilities of going to 23 or 24? Well, by taking control over the square number 29. It controls 23 and 24. So after playing 34 to 29, dark pieces have no place to go. Your opponent's pieces may stand in a different areas of the board, but still you can freeze his possibilities out. In this position by playing 45 to 40. It limits out those three pieces and this one is standing in an opposition to the white 36. White pieces win the game. The last example in this lesson of freezing your opponent out is to use an exchange. In this example, dark pieces have built the strong formation of three pieces, but white pieces have one as well. And white pieces, as they are on the move, can use it to make an exchange, 32-28. It breaks the structure of the formation of dark pieces. And after this exchange, there is only this diamond standing and no good move for dark pieces. I hope you understood and enjoyed this lesson. If you like what I do, please click the like button below the video and subscribe to the Checkers TV YouTube channel. In the next video, you will find some practical exercises of how to use freezing your opponent out. So, see you there!